your time. Yeah, welcome. You made uh, it. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you make it. Welcome to America. So in our search for a tank, we came across OGE. It was actually a recommendation as one of the, the tanks we should look at. Just spent some time talking to him and just trying to like get a feel for like where his head is and what he wanted to bring to a team. I think that he was probably the most adamant and confident of all the tanks I spoke to about wanting to put himself in this position. He wanted to be on a Western team that was in a slump and struggling. And whether it's a player, a coach, any staff member, anyone that wants to put themselves in that position, it means that they, they believe a lot in themselves for one, and it means that they do have a lot to offer, but someone that can feel like they can bring the change and make a team great, or at least like a tribute to it, it speaks volumes about character, and that's exactly what I wanted. It's definitely gonna be a hard road for him because of the pressure, he's 18, he's young. I think everyone will just have to be patient and see this kid grow because I know that he's gonna turn into one of the best players probably, and he's gonna blossom. Going into week 10, we had this like major issue where we were originally bringing Timo onto main tank and hoping that he could adjust to that role while we tried to find a new main tank to fit the position. Timo was getting really hard on himself. He wasn't really getting the performances that he wanted. He he didn't have a quick fix to all the issues that he was having and he was getting really frustrated. Timo brought up that he doesn't feel like he can perform uh, at the level he wanted to perform at and uh, initially thought he could perform at. We talked through with the team and that's how we started to make the change from team away from uh, main tank. He said he would play, but you know, if we could find something that like felt more comfortable than we would. So we decided to go, okay, Seagull's here, Mickey's here. How about we put Seagull on Diva because he'd been practicing Diva, put Mickey on a Winston. Mickey used to play Winston before he played Diva. I, I personally doesn't like to be like full leading team, but I knew it, like we need it. We need someone to step up. We need someone to play that role. So the overall feeling going against New York was that we have nothing to lose anymore. I was just trying to use that week as, let's try and learn something. Let's try and, let's try and piece some things together. So we're just going in, trying to give it our best, try and take some improvements, try and get some benefit out of this match. Uh, New York's an incredibly good team. Let's just play our game, see how it goes. When we get forward, we get forward. Um, it's what everyone expected, it's what everyone would have predicted. Let's, let's go down swinging. Five for a little bit of time. Visor is out, but he's shut down by Rascal. Beautiful play. Whoa, and that is canceled out. Liver are not going to be too happy about that, especially after he bigged it up. Got two of them so far. Arc. Couple minutes left to make it happen as well. And the delayed kill on Mono. Save Yolby is gone. And Dallas Fuel is still for a loser. But it's not going to be enough. Come on. There we go. Dallas Fuel getting the job done. Back. But the initiation there, New York wasn't going to let Dallas set up and do whatever they wanted. They took the fight to them, and that's why they're going to win Hanamura. New York showing just a methodical game. And Dallas Fuel now will be the first ones to pick up progress on the point here. Oh, oh that's, that's, nasty. Nasty. that's nasty. Where are you going? Where are you going? To spawn, that's where you're going. New York holding on this point, unless Rascal can come up with the magic here. Blade of his own, both supports dead. Rascal's got a couple of those very dangerous gambit. Target is all over but the crying, and Dallas will take win. themselves oh! a map of a new York. It does seem like they want to fight right up this choke, that's why they're around that wall there. The girl's going to try to make them defend two different angles yet again as he's on his own trip to the right. Tire coming in from Rask. And no, denied! If he needs to force them off the point, open it up here for his team, but it's a wall of blue in the kill feed. Ark not going to be floating around long this time. It will be Janice just launching himself bodily back onto the point, hoping to just whittle a little bit more time off the clock. But his teammates are nowhere to be found, and he is not long for this world. Overtime burning down, and Chip Sand won't make it in time. New York will hold. Avoid getting staggered off the edge here. Seagull gonna be alive just for a moment. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to stagger it, but you can't do it without your tanks. This, oh. this delay is over. Libero looking for his angle, trying to force that flash. He gets a bullet to the skull instead. Doesn't matter if you're cybernetic, you're still gonna feel that one. And now oh. Rascal from on. That should open it up. Rascal is going to D-Mac Mako and the flashbang in farewell. It's, uh, it's time for him to take better oh, 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 And they will oh, succeed. Oh, 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 oh. Dallas Fuel will win on Gibraltar and we will get that map five. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to hang in here just a little bit longer. Now he's just going to try to stay alive and touch the point. It is so close. He gets back there one final time. 
But now the tanks are pushing forward. Heads up, heads up. That was good effort. So close, but so far. The New York Excelsior. After that match, the morale was pretty good. We were beaten, of course, but we played better. And we could see improvements, big improvements. So everyone was happy, like uh, not happy like that we lost, but happy that we actually walked forward. It was really ha heartwarming to see everyone smiling after a match like that. It was a confidence boost for us players. We're just trying to go out there and show our best matches. We've just been having a couple of issues that we haven't been able to get through. We are getting better and we just needed to prove that. We have never been intimidated by teams. To have our own problems, uh, how do you say, beat us down the most, not other teams beating us. So against London, we had the same type of morale, feeling up, feeling focused, and we knew that we can't really mix up things a lot because we don't have the time, plus we don't have the personnel for everything. Walk in, put your hands together, and welcome to the stage, it's the Dallas Fuel. Let's here to kick things off on ball, Sky up. Yeah, Pulse Bomb into the thick of things as well, just adding to the chaos. And they won't even let Mickey get out with his life. And come back and win it. They will jump back on the point offensively for London. When do you think it's over? And a very fast first map win for the London Spitfire. Flat. But we will have this exactly Dallas Fuel with the sound barrier thrown into the mix. Trying to get some survivability going. Mickey gets pinned. Wu Hyol gets the self-destruct on Siegel as well. And now it's just the profit show. Effect with the dead eye though, able to trade it back. We will have the blizzard thrown in, and there's the value from Rascal. Sets it up for his team to just go running onto the point of back. Moonred will get a leaping gesture. Dallas pulls it back. Fantastic work from Dallas. Gesture, despite the fact that he went primal. So there's a real chance here until Siegel just left alone on the site, dies horribly. And now it's Mickey who's hanging on by a thread. Not for long. It's not going to be enough. Wick burns down, and it will be the London Spitfire. They take a 2 0 lead going into the halftime. Right, effects though, we'll find Birdring. Oh, what a shot from Rascal. That's as clean as it gets. Beautiful. I'm so happy we had that on replay. But you have both ultimates up now for your DPS. So Birdring will be able to see through walls and throw things out of sorts for London Spitfire. Yeah, Birdring hunting, uses the flash, misses it, and so Effect is going to have free reign here to run him up. Whoa! Let's go. Good job, boys. Are concerned if the rest of the team are there to watch the backline and counter these dives. In fact, you're the one who has these kills. Big plays. Oh, yeah, boy. The heals from his teammates, but it's not going to be good enough. Rascal looking to hack him to bits. He starts off strong, finds the one. Oh, and for the second, and he gets him at the end. No, no escape. And Wu Yol gone. This is shaping up nicely here for Dallas Fuel. And so Custa, not long for this world, that is sure, Birdring this time will not be denied! And it will be a hold in the end, London Spitfire. Operation time as the Doomfist comes out to try to just stall. Prophet zoning Deadeye, Prophet's been unstoppable. Yeah, Prophet has just been hitting shot after shot, and they will not be able to challenge it. Dallas Fuel getting run over here on the third point. London Spitfire pulling it off in the end. Dallas has definitely improved over the course of this stage, and over the course... I think Mickey and Seagull performed really, really good. They did their best they could, and they did pretty good. If we had gone into this break, let's say we went 4-0-4-0-4, uh, it would have been really hard for us to, as a team to come together and rally and be like coming into stage and be like, yeah, we can really do this. So doing well against two of the best teams in the game really sort of helped us refocus. The time of the break is very important, yeah. I think every player appreciates some rest and also get away from all the constant practice you know i expect the players to come back ready and i know that every player wants to win i know that every player wants to practice hard and we're gonna do so